Hello everyone, I am going to show a demonstration of uh, SIP in JavaScript project. It's an open source project hosted on Google project. The main idea behind this project is to implement uh, all the necessary standards of SIP in JavaScript which allows you to build user agents, voice over IP phones directly in the browser instead of depending on any, instead of depending on any server side component. So the demonstration page, which is phone.html, shows you a simple web-based SIP phone. Uh, this is uh, the user interface of the web-based SIP phone. And uh, let me refresh it to show what happens when the first time you launch, uh, you go to this particular website. Essentially, you can see here the Flash network is trying to detect a missing component, and it reports that something is missing. There are a couple of external dependencies that this project depends on for, especially for the networking and the media device access, and that requires an external dependency to be installed and downloaded on your system. So I'm just installing that external dependency, and once done. The web phone essentially tries to reconnect uh, to, uh, and redetect that uh, dependency, and once connected, it gets initialized and shows you that uh, it's ready to be used. The Flash Network external component uh, runs in your taskbar, which you can right click to see more information about. Uh, so at this point, it is uh, connected to system. Essentially, it would have prompted you for uh, uh, authentication and uh, you, since I had already pre-authenticated it, it didn't prompt me for authentication in this time. So once it is initialized, uh, there are various configuration which can be edited here similar to existing um, voice over IP phones such as your name, your proxy address and so on. I'll show you how I can register with the standard uh, SIP proxy running on iptel.org. I used my username domain and my credentials and instead of using an outbound proxy I just use the target domain of iptel.org and try to register. These are all the SIP messages which were sent and received uh, with the server. Here you can see the authenticated uh, register got success response and the status of the phone changed to registered. Unregister the phone uh, and so on. So to show a call between two SIP phones, instead of using a standard SIP phone, what I'm going to show is a call between two web-based SIP phones uh, by opening two different tabs. Let me refresh this page and show you what happens next time. So here you can see the system is initialized and uh, it's ready to be used. I'm running a SIP proxy server, a simple SIP proxy server on uh, my machine in the same network so I'll just try to register with that uh, particular proxy server running in this IP address. Uh, it doesn't require any authentication so basically I've left the password field empty. Registration is successful. Let me go to the second tab and uh, uh, similar instance of this web-based SIP phone and register with a different username. So in the first tab I have registered with the username my name. In the second tab I will register with the username called your name. So one of the interesting feature of this phone is that you can supply all the properties, all the configuration parameters from the URL itself using URL parameters and they get uh, used uh, as default values for these uh, different boxes, edit controls and so on. So for example, let me just show you something like uh, say uh, outbound proxy address equal to 192.168.1.10. So essentially what it meant is it basically reused those values. Similarly, I could have supplied all the other properties from the URL itself and that helps uh, in easy testing. Let me change this name to your name. And uh, register with the same uh, proxy address with your name. So now I have two tabs, two web-based SIP phones. First one is registered with name my name. Second one is registered with name your name. I'm going to make a call from the first one to second one. Before making a call I can select whether I want audio, video or both. In this case I just want both and I make a call. Once I make a call go to the second tab you can see that there is an incoming call and I can accept the call here or I can reject the call by clicking here. So let me just accept the call and see what happens. Accept the call essentially device access prompts me again for uh, uh, various audio video device access for this uh, application. 
on both the sides of the phone and uh, now these two tabs are in uh, audio video call with each other this is the local video sent from this phone to the other side and this is the remote video received from the other side since this is on the same machine you don't notice any delay or anything like that you can enable the video controls uh, and on both sides you can do full screen and so on so this is a uh, basic uh, audio video text uh, chat uh, audio video call from the web browser directly uh, without depending on any server side component to do the translation for SIP. Let me hang up the call on one side you can see that the other side also hung up and uh, just close the call the text chat feature is essentially can uh, dynamic feature which can be used uh, in call as well as out of call so if you are not in a call already then it's sent as a paging mode text message so for example i can say something like how are you doing as a text message and uh, it gets sent to the target address your name in this case on the other side you can see that this guy sent a message um, and you can respond to so this project essentially is a demonstration of SIP in JavaScript uh, and the idea behind this project is that uh, you don't need to depend on the server-side translation for SIP if you want to build a user agent, voice or IP user agent SIP phone in the browser. Uh, if you are interested in contributing to this project, get in touch with one of the authors or post a message to the group and they will get back to you. Thank you.